All right, everybody, we are back with our cute koala bear drawing. Today is the day we're going to add some color and add some shade. I'm going to show you how to use chalk pastel. If you don't have chalk pastel, I'll show you how to use oil pastel. And if you don't have that, I'll show you how to use a pencil to do the shading. All I need here is a little bit of my black chalk pastel. Charcoal works good too. You can also use the edge of a pencil. And basically what we're doing is we're gonna fill in very lightly our little koala bear. So if you have a pencil only, take the edge of your pencil, hold it on its side like so, make sure you have a nice tip. And what you're going to do is just go back and forth. So you have a nice wide lay down of tone there. It's a little bit sketchy looking, but that is okay. Once you have your pencil laid down, you'll take your tissue and just rub it just a little bit just to blend it in and smudge it. And look at that soft, soft shade that we've just created. That is with the pencil. The same thing can be done with a chalk pastel that's black. You don't wanna to press too hard with this though. You might have to put a little bit of pressure down with your pencil, but not with this. I'm not coloring using the tip, or I'm trying not to. I'm trying to stay inside the lines. I'm gonna leave that belly a little bit white. And again, once you have all of that tone laid down, you'll go ahead and take your tissue or your finger, and you're just gonna blend. This can get a little bit messy. So if you have some under paper down to protect your table, that will be helpful. But it's not too different from the pencil. It's a little bit darker, but you can see it right there that it gives you a nice softer look when I blend it in. Let's try it out with the oil pastel. Oil pastel is going to be darker and it's gonna be a little harder to smudge. So I'm not pressing very hard here. I'm pressing very lightly, not pressing as hard as I can so it gets as dark as it can. I don't want that. So here's what this looks like close up. Just a series of little lines, a little scribbly, almost like crayon. Don't use crayon though because crayon won't blend like an oil pastel does. So same thing, we're gonna take our tissue, maybe even if you have paper towel, it's a little bit more rough and it can stand up to the blending a little bit better. I'm actually gonna do this, I'll wrap it around my finger and I'm gonna go ahead and smudge. And check it out. It's all very similar. So here is the pencil. Here is the chalk pastel. Here is the oil pastel. You can get really similar results by using all kinds of different materials. So I'm gonna continue the rest of mine with the chalk pastel. And I'm just going to gently fill in the rest of this head area. Careful to avoid my eyes. You know what might be a good idea? Before I cover over those eyes completely, I might take a marker. I'm using a Sharpie, but you don't have to use a Sharpie. It doesn't have to be a permanent marker or a black crayon. And I'm gonna go ahead and color in my eyes. So if I do accidentally go over them, they won't be lost. Making sure to leave a nice little white highlight in there. Those white highlights are awesome for making eyes look realistic and shiny and more interesting. I'm gonna do the same thing on the nose. I'm gonna try and make a little shiny spot on the nose. Where should that shiny spot go? On the side maybe? Let's see, I'll outline it first. Little nostrils. Yeah, I'll make my shiny spot on the side. That'll be my shiny spot. I'll color the rest in. We have our cute nose. Oh, he's starting to be so cute. Cute koala. And then you can do the mouth a little bit too. Tiny little smile. Notice there's not a huge distance between the nose and the top of the mouth. It's very, very small. And then we've got these lines here, these parentheses lines. All right, now we're gonna be ready 
to do our coloring and if we go over anything by accident, it'll still be there. So very, very lightly. Shade, shade, shade. It's hard not to go dark with this. I'm gonna try our best. I'm gonna leave a little bit of white on the chin area. Sometimes koalas have a little bit lighter chin. And I'm not being super particular with this, but not really messy either. I'm not doing a super scribble. I'm gonna do a little bit around the ears, but I wanna save the inside of the ears. We're gonna make that a little bit pink. So just a little bit outside the ears. What comes next after we're done putting that color down? You guessed it. I'm gonna take our tissue and do that little smoothing out. We're blending the colors. We're making it, or the, sorry, blending the tone in so it looks smudgy, so it looks soft and not scribbly. We're, we're blending those scribbles right away. And depending on how hard you press, I'm gonna go over this to just make it match a little bit. Depending on how hard you press, depends on how dark your koala bear will be in the end. A little bit on the edges. Oh, so soft. This is called texture. We're creating a texture by making him look soft. Texture in art is the way something looks like it feels. So since I don't have a pink chalk pastel, I'm gonna go ahead in here with a little bit of pink. I'm gonna be careful not to touch the black though, because if I draw on the black with my pink, it's gonna get a little dirty. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of pink in here. And since this is oil pastel, I'm gonna use my paper towel because it's a little bit more sturdy. Hold my paper down with one hand and smooth it with the other. You do need to press harder with your oil pastel. And I did get a little black in there. That's all right, we're not gonna worry about it. Still looks cute, right? All right, finishing touches. What we're gonna need for this little guy, I'd like this to blend more. I think I pressed a little too hard with my was this the pastel? Yeah, that was the, the oil pastel. So now with my little guy, what I'm gonna do is add some texture lines. So we want it to look even more soft and more fuzzy and more textury. So here we go. I'm going to take my marker or you can take your pastel and do it with your pastel if you want. And we're going to make some little wispy lines coming from the ears. These little texture lines, they're nice and long at the top of the ear but then they're gonna get shorter as they come down here, maybe. Notice the direction that I'm drawing my lines. They're going outwards on the ears. So these lines went this way. These lines are going this way. Nice little short lines at the bottom and long lines at the top. And we can make some short lines going all around the head just to show that soft, fuzzy texture. Short, short, short lines. Dit, 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 dit. It helps if you make that sound. Dit, 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 dit. Maybe, maybe it's annoying. I don't know, you do what works for you. And then we can separate the chest from the body with some little lines too. And of course we want to go ahead and get the sides of the body so they look nice and soft. And this is one quick and easy way that we can add texture to our koala bear. So he looks soft and fuzzy. Um, try to avoid making lines like this. Keep them separate. That makes them look a little bit more fuzzy and cute. And depending on the length of your lines depends on how your koala is gonna look. Short little lines will make him look short and fuzzy. Longer lines will make him look super soft. So it's gonna be up to you, whatever you choose to do for your koala. So we are done with the shading process and the adding of the texture for our koala. Next time I see you, we're gonna do a background. We're gonna put this little guy in a habitat, a place where he lives and thrives and eats eucalyptus leaves. I'll see you then.